Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm coming to you with week number four of our ten uh, weeks of Christmas. And this is the cute little box we're going to make today. Isn't it adorable? You can make it in all sorts of colors and all sorts of paper and the possibilities are endless. So let's get started. I'm going to set this right up here so you guys can see it. Um, we need a couple pieces of paper. I have to get my cheat sheet out because I planned that idea quite a while ago. Okay, so we need a 8 by 5.5 piece of paper. Then we need some DSP paper that is, we need four of them. And they are 1 and 1 eighth by 4 and 7 eighths. You need four of them. And then you need a piece of Whisper White that is one by four, and this is for our stamping. But first, we gotta do a little scoring to our Pacific Point cardstock. So, let's get out the Pacific, or Pacific Point, let's get out the score and get scoring. Now, on the five and a half inch side, we have to score at four and a quarter, or one and a quarter, I'm sorry. I have to score at one and a quarter. Remember, the score is the off-white one. The darker one is for cutting. So we're gonna score. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you would subscribe by hitting the little pink button in the right-hand corner, I would greatly appreciate that. And if you could share my page, I'm really trying to get my page up there. And then we gotta go to two and a half. I would appreciate that too. Okay. And then we go to three and three fourths. So right there. Yep. And we score. And then again at five and we score. Okay. So then we turn it and we score it at a half an inch. So right here at a half an inch. And then we score it at one and a half inches. And then we're going to rotate it and we're going to do the same thing again. So a half an inch and we're going to score. And then we're going to score a, a, a inch and a half. So just like that. Okay. Now we have to bring this in. And we have to make some little score marks here. Now we have to bring in the score scoreboard here. And I'm going to bring out my take your pick tool. Now with the half inch score line, this piece right over here that we did for the five, we're going to put uh, the five inch up here. We're going to go over to the one and seven, one and seventh eighth score mark which is the tick mark after the two and we're going to just score down to that first score line that we did then we're going to go over to four and three eighths which is the tick mark right after the half and you're going to score down to the first score line then we're going to rotate it and well, actually, we're going to flip it because you want the half inch still to be on this side. So you got to flip it over because you want your half inch here. And we're going to repeat the same thing. One and seven eighths and uh, four and three eighths. Okay, so we have done that. So now what we got to do is you want to get out a ruler and... Um, your score, your simply score. And all you're going to do is you're going to line 
this corner. See if I could show you up close. Let me show you a corner here. Let me score it down. See that corner right there? From there to there? That score line to that score line. We're going to line them up. And then we're going to do this one to that one. So let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little so you could see this a little better. Okay, all right, just a little bit better. Okay, so here's our score line. We're going to go from this score line to this score line. So we're going to put our ruler right here, and we're going to put that one right there, and we're going to take our tool and we're just going to score. We're making a score line just like that. Then we're going to go from this score line, I should put my glasses on to make sure I'm seeing this good, which I'm off here big time. See, I needed my glasses and I need to get my head in the camera. So sorry. If my head was in the camera, I'm sorry. And we got to score right from point to point. Okay. That's better. Then we got to go to this one right here to there. And we got a score. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do it to the other four also. So point to point. Oh, I should put this in the camera. Sorry. Point to point. Oh. And point to point. Okay. Then we're going to flip it around and we're going to do it right here again. On this one, we're going to put it right here to here. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then we're going to go from here to here. Whoops. Get you back in the camera again. Sorry if I made you blurry. We're going from point to point. Boy, I'm making mistakes today. The next video is better. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to zoom you guys back out. There we go. And now we're going to fold on all our score lines. And we're even going to fold on our little triangles, kind of just help them a little bit like this, kind of. That's how I do it anyways. I kind of help them that way. Pinch that in, that in. Score that down. There you go. Then we'll score this one down. I like to just do it by hand for this. And then I'm just going to kind of go like that. You just need to help it a little bit because once you start putting the piece together, it won't even matter that the about that or not. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our box together. We're going to go like this and we're going to put a piece of score tape all along here. And then if we lay it flat, it should put right down the way it belongs. So we'll run a piece of score tape from here to here, okay? And then I like to take my pick tool and I like to peel this up like that and I put it down just like that. And then we'll pop it open and then we're just going to push these in on one end and you will do the same thing on the other end but we're gonna start decorating it first but I need my we could have decorated this when it was flat and that might have been the smart thing to do because uh, that's probably what I did <laughs> oops take the top off then we wouldn't have had to um, you know fight with the box but I guess this is okay uh -huh. 
And if your box hangs over a little bit like mine does right there, it's okay. Just take your scissor snips or whatever you got and just slowly take your time and trim up it just to make it even. It's not, there you go. And that's it. Well, that's going to be the back side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple and then I'm taking a uh, stapler. Now this is a uh, Tim Holtz one if you have the Stampin' Up one or whatever. Um, Stampin' Up don't sell theirs anymore, but I'll tell you, they're pretty handy. I'm not going to close this side yet because I'm going to put stuff in it, but I'm trying to decide. Okay, I want this for my top. So let's get to stamping now. Okay, so we got our owls and we're going to use the Memento Black ink because, yes, I'm going to be using my blend. So I should bring the original one back in. And I'm going to stamp it just like that. It's kind of cute. And this I did in the Pacific Point. So get that color out. I took the Pacific Point ink. Stamp it up. Okay, just like that. And now we're gonna color this little guy. So let's get going. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm coloring. There we go. May not be the prettiest because it's farther away than I'm used to, but <laughs> I'll be definitely turning it sideways so I can work. <laughs> and I will be fast and forward in this. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on here. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this on here. And I did use Stampin' Dimensionals. I wasn't sure if I did. And yes, I did. I'm very sorry that this is a late video. Um, I know it should have been out. I usually like to post them on Thursday. So it should have been out yesterday. But life happens, I guess, guys. That's all I can say. Things have been very crazy. All the kids are going for their yearly checkups and physicals and everything because they couldn't get in when COVID was going on. And well, oh, me too. So it's just been crazy. So now let me show you some of the things that I found that can go into this. This great big thing is Starburst. That can go in there and it closes up. And you could even fit something else in there if you want with it, like on the side, because it moves a little bit around in there. These uh, gummy things, they fit down in there. Just got to get the wrapper out of the way. And you could fit something in there a little. These great big Smarties, they fit down in there. And you could decorate this up however you want. Someone that likes Smarties, you could fill it with mints to give it to an elderly person. I mean, the ideals are endless. Little mascaras, little bottles of, um, what do I want to call it? Uh, nail polish, um, pens. I mean, you could put a couple like gel pens. I don't know if I have any, oops, I don't have any gel pens here. What are these markers? Sharpie markers. Here, I got four of them. Look at that. I could still fit a couple more in there. So, I mean, you want to give it to a teacher with a bunch of Sharpie markers or dry erasers or anything like that in there. 
um, you could fit a lot of stuff in this. If you were going to give it to a demonstrator, um, you could fit a bone folder in there. You could fit, can you fit the take the pick tool? You could fit the take the pick tool if you put the parts in, the components in. Like if you took this one off, you could put the take your pick tool and all the extra components down in there. What a cool gift to give to some hostesses and stuff. If, or to a your up your downline team or anything to that effect so the ideas are endless two blends might fit in here or maybe four well, I don't know two or four I got two right now I bet you could fit well no the blends don't go down quite far enough so you can't fit blends but the ideas are endless so I really appreciate you guys stopping in and watching um, my 10 weeks of Christmas tutorial for this little cute little box um, Again, I'm sorry. It was late Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button that's over in the corner And you know if you want to buy any of these products that I use you can go to Bonnie's creative place .net. I will see you next week with card number or week number five. Thanks for stopping by everybody. Bye. Bye